Wow. So, Lene, who you want to kick this thing off tonight with? Well, I want to start local, so we're going to bring up Miss TK. Miss TK in the building. All right, Miss TK it is. We're going to bring up Miss TK. Miss TK, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey. We're going to bring you in, and thank you so much. For All right. <laughs> And uh, tell us a little bit about you. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Nene uh, go ahead and um, bring you in. Okay, cool. cool, cool. So I met Miss TK um, actually doing uh, a poet open mic in Baltimore, um, and it was Charm City Slam. Plug, check that out. Um, Charm City, basically. And as she was sitting, I was sitting there nervous, just just all bit of nerves all through my body. And God was like, "We're gonna sit her right here." So she sat next to my, uh, sat next to me at my table, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, um, I don't, we don't know each other, but uh, could you record me? Because I ain't bring no other device, and all I have is my phone to read my poem." So she recorded it for me, and we've been rocking ever since then. Like her poetry is powerful, move, like it, it inspires me. So I'm just grateful that she was able to come and just show love. Thank you so much, Miss BK. I appreciate you, Queen. No problem. <laughs> So tell me what started your poetic journey. Yes, yeah, so um, I started writing about 25 years ago. Um, I I am the oldest child of three. Um, I have two sisters and a brother. And um, my mom was had a mental illness and my dad was um, incarcerated for my, most of my childhood. So I basically was kind of a loner um, and writing has been like my, my outlet of, you know, expression. Um, my grandmother always say that you're better at writing than you are at talking. So I think I mastered the talking part now, but <laughs> as growing up, I was better at writing than talking. And so um, I was a mom um, at 16, um, and so I have three daughters. Um, they are 21 is 21, 18 and 15. So, um, you know, a lot of life experiences growing up with my own kids. So um, writing has been influential to me. Um, but I just actually started performing publicly in November of 2022. Um, I've always been a drama queen, so you can see me performing all the time naturally, but um, to perform publicly is um, something new for me, but it comes naturally. And um, I must say that one of the poems that I will be sharing today, it will actually explain how I started to publicly um, perform. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. And it's, it's a beautiful thing when you can be able to match your voice with what you're writing. So I, I understand that as well. So what I want to do is kick this off because I want them to hear you, Queen. So if you can give us that first poem you got and blaze the stage, let them know what you got, Queen. Okay. Mysterious girl. Never been a wholesome girl to bring home to your church school mamas. No, she's the type to make you wonder there's just something about her. She's not the type to make the church say amen with applause or maybe the I've been changed applause. The kind of church says she's no longer the same applause. The kind of girl you think about during the daytime, but you only call at nighttime. While you spend your daytime entertaining the holier than thou girls, only to think of the I girl. And yeah, I get it. The church wouldn't approve of my sinful ways. And even you wonder, how do I get this mysterious girl to not look like what the world conveys? I know, I know. Church boy, you got a reputation to uphold. You spend years building up and I sure won't want to superimpose. But I tell you, we just the same though. We came from the same hood though. Our spiritual background just had a different name though. Loving what we shouldn't be loving. You just better at hiding it though. See my red flags are waving around for all to see. Mysterious girl can hide what others think of she. No, she just got to move gracefully past the I would never be's and ignore the how could she's. How could it be what you know I could be if you continue to think what I could be? So we sit here staring at each other like we could be if only she was the kind of girl the church say amen for. With a little less red flags though, don't say what you mean though. Hide your mysterious ways though. How do I keep up with these unrealistic tendencies? And continue to be hitting like I'm your enemy. 
The only way to fix this narrative is if you stand in front of me and let the world know that I am your she. The kind of she is my everything. And when I'm around her, my whole world stops from the joy she brings. And how I wish everyone knew just how much she means to me. But I'm too afraid of what the world would think of me. So I hide my best friend like she's my enemy. Taking these holier than thou girls out while I think of she. Ignoring her light shining while I sit in misery while she reminds me, don't wait too long. Because the guy that sees all my good qualities is ready to snatch me from up under your arms, you see. And all you'll have left is the memories of the mysterious girl and what she could be. But you waited too long and now she's your history.